All right then, so in our style sheet, we have this area at the top where we will be declaring all of our variables. Now, I always like to declare my variables at the top. You don't need to, but I think it makes it clearer that way, and I know where to find them if I ever need to change them in the future. So, like I said, variables are declared using CSS custom properties, and they look like regular CSS properties like margin or font family, except in front of them, they have the double dash, right? And you can see them change color in my editor now. That says that this is a custom property, a variable. Now, like normal CSS properties, we have to declare our variables, our custom properties inside a selector. So all of these things here, the body or this thing, these are selectors and these CSS properties are declared inside those selectors. The same is true for variables. So I can't just make a variable at the top and call this, you know, my var and then set it to something. This is not going to work. It has to be declared inside a selector. So for example, we could say body and then declare the variable inside here. And that means that everything inside the body tag inside this document would have access to that variable. Okay. Now, if this was header, for example, and we declared our variables inside this selector, then only elements inside the header right here would have access to that variable. So they can be scoped. Now, what I like to do to give access to my variables inside the whole document so that any element can use them is use the root pseudo class. So that is colon and then root. And this refers to 99 times out of 100, the HTML tag, the root element inside your document. So now if we declare our variables here, it means that those variables can be used inside the entire document. So any other selector essentially can use those variables. Okay. Does that make sense? Cool. So I'd like to declare two variables inside this root selector. The first variable is going to be the theme color and the theme color is this blue right here for the banner and also these H2 tags right here. So I'm going to have one variable which controls the color of those and another variable which controls the color of the links on the page. So these things, which is a brown and yellow color, horrible color. I don't know why I've used it, but hey ho. And these things at the top as well, they use that color as well. So we'll declare those two variables inside this root selector. So remember, double dash first of all, then the name of our variable. The first one is gonna be called theme hyphen color. You can call it whatever you want, and it's gonna be set equal to a hex code. Now that hex code is gonna equal this color and this color. So let's find it in the document first of all. So the banner right here, that is the big blue thing on the page. So let's grab that and paste it up here and save it. Now, if we want to use this variable inside another selector, for example, this thing down here, this banner, we want it to be that color, right? All we need to do instead of applying the hex code there is say, hey, we want to use this variable for the color right here. So the way we say we want to use it is by saying var, then in parenthesis, the name of the custom property or the variable. Now it's double dash, don't forget that, then theme hyphen color in our case. So let's save that and refresh over here. Hopefully it shouldn't change and it doesn't because we're still using this blue color, but instead of directly adding that hex right here, we're just referencing the variable theme color, which is that hex code, okay? So another thing that uses that color is these H2s right here. So let's find those in the CSS and change it so it uses the variable like this. So if we go down, we can see spot H2 is using that hex code as well. Let's delete that and use var and then hyphen, hyphen, theme, hyphen, color. And if we save, this should also not do anything. It shouldn't change because we're still using that color again, but we're using it via the variable. Okay, makes sense. All right, so the next thing I wanted to create a variable for was the links on the page. So these here and also the nav links. So let's create a variable at the top inside the root selector again. And this time we'll call it link hyphen color. And that color is going to be equal to that brownie horrible color, which is inside the navigation at the top. So let's grab that from there and paste it at the top right here. Now, I'm just going to save it and refresh over here because now, even though we've declared this variable, we're not using it down here yet. We've stripped it. So I just want to show you that if we refresh, that color is currently stripped right here. We're not applying a color to it yet. But once we've added the variable reference right here, var, then in parenthesis, double dash, and then it was link 
color save that when we refresh now we get that browny yellow back awesome so let's do the same thing for these links down here if we scroll down they should be inside the content somewhere or the spots content a this is the one so let's delete that hex from there and instead use var then double dash link hyphen color save that and if we refresh hopefully nothing changes because it's still using that color via the variable all right awesome so that's cool we've declared our variables and we've used them but we've not really saved any time yet the power of variables comes when we want to change the colors or the margin or the different properties on the page so if i want to change the theme color now instead of changing that theme color in two different places and it might be 10 different places on a larger website I can just change it in one place inside the variable declaration right here. So I could say instead of using this color blue, I'm going to use pink. And if we save that now and refresh, you can see update in both of these two places because they're still both just referencing this theme color variable. We don't need to change it down there and we just change it here, right? So when they reference it, it's updating with pink. Awesome. Let's do the same for the link color. So let's say instead of this brownie color, we'll use hash 333, which is like a charcoal gray. Refresh over here and hopefully they should update the links all over the page as well. Awesome. So that is the power of CSS variables. It makes it much easier going forward when you're updating your website. So there we go. That's how we declare them and how we use them inside the document. In the next tutorial, what I'll be doing is going over some of the things that CSS variables can do, some of the benefits of it, over things like SAS and LESS.